Hey everyone, Donovan Brown here. If you're tired of typing Coop Cuddle Apply, Coop Cuddle Apply, and then realize you screwed up and then frantically typing Coop Cuddle Delete, Coop Cuddle Delete as fast as you can, then Helm is for you. Helm is a tool that enables you to deploy lots of cool stuff into Kubernetes, including your own apps. What I want to do today is walk you through the exact learning path that I took, starting from an empty folder and adding file by file, character by character, until I understood what was going on. This is not going to be a deep dive, but I think if you see how I approach learning Helm, that it might help you the next time you use it. In this video, I'm going to demystify Helm. Let's go. Good morning, everyone. No, let's try that again. Good morning, everyone. Oh, perfect. If you want to follow along, you will need an editor, Helm 3, and Docker for desktop with Kubernetes enabled. I will start in Visual Studio Code in a folder called My Chart. The first thing I wanted to know was what was the minimum I needed to be a chart. The show chart command displays information about a chart. Running this command in an empty folder returns an error stating you must create a file named chart.yaml. I create the file and I run the command again. Well, we're making progress, but I get another error stating that the file must set a name property. No problem. I add a name property and I run the command again. The next error states you need a version. So I add one, run the command again, and now I have a chart. The lint command identifies what's right and what's wrong with the chart. Running Helm lint, I discover some issues. First, I add an API version. Then I correct my version. It states my version looks like a float 64. It needs to be a string because charts use semantic versioning. I update my version to 0.1.0. .0. It also recommends setting an icon. The icon is a URL to an image. I also create the recommended values file and a templates folder. I run the command again and now everything is happy. I can install this now, but it won't do much because our templates folder is empty. Charts can be installed using the install command. The install command requires a name and a folder. I'm going to add the dry run and debug flags, which will show what will happen, but not install the chart. The output confirms that nothing would happen, but it would install successfully and I could manage this release. Now I will add a config map. A config map is one of the many objects that can be stored inside Kubernetes. Every YAML file requires an API version and a kind property set to the object to be created. I will add the name under the metadata in three messages, hello world, from, and Donovan Brown. I repeat the install command and Helm reports that it would create a config map containing the three values. Any files inside the templates folder will be processed. When I delete a release, all the YAML files will be removed. I would prefer that the values not be hard coded. I'd like to be able to change values for dev, QA, and prod. Some of the values may be secrets that I don't want to store inside a source control. I'm going to move these values into the values file that Helm had me create. First, I add the same values as before to the values.yaml file. Then I update the config map to point to the values file. The format is dot values, which means go to the values file. And then dot message one says use the message one property here. I update all three values. I repeat the install command and I get the exact same results. I no longer have hard coded values inside of my YAML file. If I need to use message one in five different files, I can change it in one place and it will change across the entire chart. The values file contains the defaults I want to use. If I need a different value for dev, QA, and prod, I can create environment specific files. I'm always thinking, how do I apply this to a pipeline? I might only want to override a handful of these values. Some of the defaults are perfect for all environments. I'm going to create another file called dev and add a single value to override message two. I will change the value from from to to. I issue the install command and I add the hyphen F flag and provide my dev.yaml file. This instructs Helm to read the file and override duplicate values. The output identifies that I provided additional values and that it calculated which to use. It overrides message two, but leaves the others unchanged. The power is starting to become clear. 
I can have a dev, QA, and prod file that overwrites environment-specific data while still leveraging the default set in the values file. But how do I handle secrets? Sometimes I have passwords or data that I don't want to check into source control. When I'm deploying my chart, I want to inject the values, but I want to leverage the environmental files along with the defaults. Luckily, Helm has this all figured out. I can use the hyphen hyphen set flag to override values from the command line. I can use the defaults from the values.yaml, override those with the dev.yaml file, and then override further from the command line. The result is a config map using values from all three locations. In addition to replacing values, I can clean values as well. For example, I can force the value to be lowercase by piping it to the lower function. I also want it quoted as a string. With these functions in place, message one gets quoted and is lowercase no matter what case the data was provided. I can also control the length using the truncate function. Repeating the install command, message one is truncated to just hello, lowercase, and quoted. There's a lot of power being able to string different functions together. This is a place where you're gonna to wanna to do some additional research. There are lots of functions that do all kinds of cool things. Check the description for links to additional information. I noticed that when I started using a lot of these functions, it made my templates difficult to read. There is a way that I can clean this up. I have already been using the values file, but I can also define named templates. Using the template statement, I'm saying I have defined a template called lower trunk that I want to use for this value. This makes my code nice and clean, and it gives me a central location to control all my named templates. I'm going to create another file named underscore helpers.tpl. Files whose names start with an underscore do not get processed by Helm, but I still have access to everything inside of them. In this file, I define a template named lower trunk with a similar function as before. Installing this chart again, my template is now being used for message one. Templates use the Go scripting language to enable building of sophisticated values. The final file I want to create is the notes.txt file. Anything that you type here will be shown after the chart is installed. I can provide lots of valuable information here. Installing the chart again will result in the contents of the notes file being presented at the end with all the templates and values replaced. Once I understood all these concepts, I could go and start using normal templates. I will use the create command to create a default chart. Looking at the values file, I now understand what's going on. I can build hierarchies, objects, and arrays. I can use all the constructs I would normally want to use. The first time I saw this notes file, I had no idea what I was looking at, but now it makes sense. Looking at the helper file, it is more impressive than the one that I wrote, and it shows the power with if statements and other programming concepts. The final file I want to show you is the deployment. Highlighting value shows you just how convenient Helm is. Every occurrence of the word value, if I were not using Helm, I would have to figure out how to replace these values at runtime when I deploy to different environments. Thanks to Helm, I can control all this in a central location where I can change all these values. The more complex the chart, the more valuable Helm becomes. Visit helm.sh for more information. Until next time. No, let's try that again. Good morning, everyone. Oh, perfect.